In today's video, I'm going to discuss how you can find success working at home as a freelancer using platforms like Upwork. And we're going to talk specifically about Upwork. I know there's a lot of others, freelancer.com and Fiverr and others. Um, my experience is with Upwork, so I'm going to talk about Upwork. And that if you're somebody who is considering kickstarting a work at home career as a freelancer, as a consultant, as somebody who offers a service, and through the internet, you can provide that service and make a living. This video is for you. Um, you may have heard of Upwork or you may have not, uh, but here are some tips for how to gain momentum if you're new to it because um, the, the competition on Upwork has risen over the last few years, but that by no means makes it a place where you can no longer find success. Um, you just have to go about it in the right way. So first of all, is uh, when it comes, you it didn't used to be this way, but you have to get your profile approved um, through a process that involves them analyzing what your service is and whether there is too much supply for that service or not, um, and that can play a part. But let's just assume that you already have an approved profile that Upwork has allowed you to, uh, they've run your application and have, they've allowed you to work on their platform. Um, because getting approved is a topic for another day. Um, but let's assume you're already approved, but you're like, how the heck do I start making money? How do I get clients? How do I, uh, how do I show up in front of a client when I have no work experience on Upwork yet? I have zero dollars earned how do I compete with those that have thousands of dollars earned and all this work history on their profile? First of all, I hire people on Upwork sometimes and I've hired people that had no work experience and uh, zero dollars earned um, because they really were the best qualified for what I needed at that time. And, uh, and sometimes those that are just getting started have the unique qualification of one, they, they have the technical skill that the client is looking for, but two, because they're just getting started, if they can be a more cost-effective solution for a smaller business who is also trying to grow. Um, and, uh, and so just know that even if you're just getting started, you absolutely have a chance in getting hired. And also know that it's a myth that just because you're just getting started that you're profile will not show up as a suggested uh, freelancer when you apply to a job because I have posted jobs before and Upwork has surfaced profiles as recommendations of people who have zero dollars earned and have had no work experience on the platform yet but they had relevant uh, uh, it, they had relevant experience that matched very closely to what I was looking for and that comes down to your job title. The job title was very similar to what I was looking for. And so you wanna make sure that you create a job title that mirrors what your target client is searching. And sometimes that just comes down to um, doing some research and asking people, asking your target client, hey, what do you normally search for when you're trying to find somebody to help out with this job? And uh, when I've had uh, potential clients, I've asked them, hey, how did you find me? Oh, I typed in video marketing strategist. And I'm like, oh, good. Now I know that that's a good title to use. <laughs> um, your job title is huge when it comes to the relevancy of your profile to what clients are looking for. To your description, you want your description to have keywords that also connect to your title and elaborate even further, but you want those keywords to also closely match what your ideal client is likely searching when they're searching for somebody like you. Um, and, and Upwork is gonna surface profiles that have relevant keywords to what the potential client is searching. Um, and so that, that's, that's huge. And then obviously, if you have work experience outside of Upwork, and you have a portfolio you've built and you've had results that you've gotten for other clients outside of Upwork, then make sure you put that on your profile. In the, in the uh, they have a portfolio section, they even have a testimonial section now for clients that you've had outside of Upwork. So fill out those sections so that people see, okay, you're new to Upwork, but you do have experience elsewhere. 
where you have produced results in this area. Um, and then when it comes down to uh, getting momentum going, if you're in the process of trying to figure out exactly what service to focus on, and you have a couple different options, you can have a couple different profiles actually, they're called specialized profiles, where you want them to be somewhat related. You don't want somebody to see that you're doing a bunch of random things that aren't connected. Um, like for me, I have a profile that's designated for YouTube and then a profile that's for video marketing overall, and then one for like content strategy related to video and, and related to online events and virtual workshops and live video. And so I've segmented it a bit, but they all are pretty much related to video strategy. Um, but you wanna be searching, uh, what are some lower competition services that there's not a ton of freelancers for on Upwork yet, but you see potential in that service continuing to grow and more and more businesses wanting that service. And that's gonna take a little bit of research and that's one way that you can get going um, quicker in a space that is getting more and more full. Um, because what I did is uh, when I first started, uh, I, I started out as a video editor on Upwork and then I transitioned into doing more of the marketing side of video. And my transition came through the door of YouTube because I was doing some searches and I found that there weren't many freelancers that were on Upwork that were specializing in YouTube strategy specifically. And I knew that uh, at different conferences and online, more and more people were teaching about the importance of YouTube, so I figured okay, in the coming months, more and more businesses are gonna be wanting help with their YouTube channels. So I, cut, I optimized my profile to be all about YouTube. And I had some experience working with YouTube, uh, even outside of Upwork with other clients as a video editor and also being a part of the marketing. Um, but uh, I, I, I saw an opportunity to go after a specific service that there wasn't a ton of supply for. And because I did that, I started winning jobs. As more and more people started searching and posting jobs for YouTube, help with their YouTube channel, my, my, my profile was right there amongst only a couple of others. And then uh, as I started getting jobs and mine started ranking higher, and then, and then now there's a lot more people on Upwork that are uh, helping with YouTube channel strategy. Um, but there wasn't at the time that I started. And so I took advantage of that opportunity to slide in and become um, the top, one of the top YouTube strategists on Upwork um, that now I'm ranking right near the top whenever somebody types in YouTube marketing or YouTube strategist or YouTube specialist. Um, and so I encourage you to do the same thing if you wanna get going faster, is to do some research on some services that maybe aren't super popular yet on Upwork, but you know they're services that businesses are starting to want and there's more and more demand for it. For example, with the recent events of everyone working at home, there's been a huge surge and businesses trying to figure out how to run virtual workshops and online events and online trainings opposed to in-person trainings. So if you are, if you're an event coordinator, uh, one way that you can pivot is to start pitching your services as an online event coordinator and, uh, and capitalize on that trend that is going up um, where there's, there's not a ton of competition for that yet on Upwork. Um, and, uh, and so yeah, so there's just different ways that you can uh, leverage opportunity in seeking out topics and services that maybe there aren't a lot of freelancers for yet on Upwork and focusing on that to get your business going. And then you can expand into other areas once you get some momentum and traction. So uh, there's many more tips when it comes to finding success on Upwork, but those are for some other videos that I'm sure to post. And uh, so hopefully that was helpful to you and I'd encourage you to take that leap and start now and getting educated on how you can find success as a solopreneur working from home. I'll see you next time.